Trey here with Camwood Bats. I'm here with Wes Helms, 12 year MLB vet. So we're gonna do a little test today. We're gonna to see which bat performs better. This maple or this pro maple bat versus this pro European beach game bat from Camwood Bats. So the first bat that we're gonna try out is this is a pro maple bat. We got this from a pro player. So this is the best maple that this company offers. And this is gonna be a 33 inch, 31 ounce. Oh, so I hit that one good. 89. All right. 84.7. See, I hit that ball well, too. Yeah, you squared that one up. Only 84. 89.1. See, I'm just trying to get the highest exit velocity that I can. 89.1. Oh, so I hit that one good. 87.1. So, with the first bat, we only got to 89. Not very good. All right, so the second bat that we're going to try out, this is a pro maple bat as well. This is from a different professional player. And this model is uh, 34 inches and 32 ounces. So, I, I can already tell this one's a little bit more inloaded than the last one we just used. 86. Ooh, 84. All right. Oh, I hit that one well. 90. 90. Yep. That ball was struck. All right, so that's the new leader. 90. 90.6. Oh, I hit that one good. 89. It's a line drive. So then we had our top speed there was 90.6. 90. So now we're going to test the pro European beach wood from Camwood Bats. So this bat here is 34 inches, 32 ounces. So it's the same as the last one that we just tried. But the big difference with this, this is the European beach wood. So it's a different wood species. 94.4. To me, Trey, even the first swing right there, total different sound. That sounded more like the crack of a bat yeah. than, than the first two. That ball felt really good off the bat. Yes, too. it did. It's a different sound. Ninety-one point nine. So already higher than the other. Well, two the bats. thing I noticed there, that was 91.9 higher than the hit maple, that one well. and you rounded the ball. Exactly. You actually did not stay through that ball, and you still got good exit below. Yeah. I didn't hit that on the on the uh, sweet spot, but it still felt good off the bat. Yes. Not a lot of vibration. Oh yeah, 95.9. Oh. 96.2. Laser off the wall. It's different. So that right there is just a six mile an hour difference on the top exit velocity from Maple versus this European beach. That's insane. What I saw when you stayed through the ball and you barreled the ball correctly, yeah. higher average exit below. But the thing I loved about it was when you actually rounded a ball and missed hit a ball, you still had high enough exit below to get exactly. that base hit. Well, that's one of the main things that I noticed with the ball coming off this bat is just that there's not a lot of vibration. No. So even whenever I miss hit the ball, like you said, we're still able to get a lot of meat and yes. a lot of juice behind that ball. Still hit a higher exit velocity when I miss hit a ball exactly. versus barreling one up with a maple. Yes. So the test doesn't lie. So I, like I said, uh, if I had to choose between European beach and maple now, yeah. I'm choosing European beach all day long. I'd take the cam wood all day long.